everybody, Anya here at Our Gabled Home where I like to share tips for a simple, beautiful, healthy and sustainable living and today it's all about sustainability. Um, as you know, we live in this 1910 home that tends to get a little bit cold. Um, it's actually a cold, rainy January day. You can see the wind blowing and I don't know if you can see the rain behind me. But anyway, so I like to wear socks in the winter and I bought this pair of really nice 100% wool socks in Austria last year. I've been wearing them so much that I actually started to get a hole in them. And what I want to show you today is how you can mend these socks. It's called darning your socks and I'll show you what you need for it. It's actually really simple. The first thing you need is a darning egg. I'll explain a little bit more about that. And the second thing is a darning needle that has a pretty big eye of the needle. There it is, now you can see it. Okay, so the darning egg is um, something that you put inside your sock in the heel, just like so, that you can um, mend this area here and um, what's nice about it is you could theoretically use a tennis ball but a tennis ball you might get stuck in it with your needle this is wood so you won't get stuck in it and what's really beautiful is that um, my sons made these darning eggs at their school they cut them out of a block of wood and then chill it away and then use finer grades of sandpaper to create this egg shape there's also something called like a um, mushroom darner or darning mushroom and I'll link it below where you can get that because it has a little handle on it and it's also really practical. So let's go and see how you can darn your socks. So here's my darning egg. I'm gonna put that into the heel of my sock where the hole is that I want to darn and mend. So I'm just gonna make sure that the darning egg is right in the middle there. So here's my hole. And I have my yarn here. I just need to go a little bit longer this way. And what I'm doing now is first I'm going here on the side and picking up a few stitches. It's a good idea idea that the darning needle is a little bit bent this way. I don't know if you can see that so well. Let me turn it the other way. There we go. And I'm just going to pick up a few stitches here. So I want to be quite on the outside of the hole, not, not just in the beginning because I don't want anything to unravel. And I pick the yarn that is close to the color of my sock, not I couldn't find anything that was exactly the same color, but that's okay. If you knit your own socks, you can keep a little bit left over. And if you ever get a hole, you have the right color to fix it with. So now I'm coming back. I want to create a pattern that's just a little bit like weaving. So then I'll go up again and try to be as narrow as you can.
and here you have your darned sock. I'm just gonna finish it by cutting the yarn and then pulling it on the inside. If you take your darning egg out, and then what you can do is just pull this to the inside here. And here's your finished heel. It's not perfect. You can still see it's been mended, but um, I will get some new life out of my beautiful full wool socks. If you've liked this video, please hit the subscribe button. I upload videos every week and show you more ideas how you can make your life a little bit more sustainable. Thank you so much for watching.